We asked members of our community to teach us how to cook a dish meaningful to our faith. This is the Gurdwara's Mero Curry. A petite woman in her 50s, wearing a black headband and Covid face mask, with a white chiffon scarf over her head tucked into a navy cardigan, stands in the communal kitchen of her Gurdwara or temple. The kitchen is on an industrial scale, designed to feed many souls. Bearded men in turbans stand in a row behind the serving station to speak to us. In the wider kitchen, men and women, mostly middle-aged or older, all wearing Covid masks, are busy rolling out chapatis and peeling and chopping vegetables, including the tennis ball-sized round white mero. The cooking utensils are on the same scale as the kitchen. A huge cooker, a colander half a metre in diameter. Onions are chopped by an electric machine. Piles of vegetables fry gently in giant pots stirred with spatulas the size of small rowing oars. Rows of metal beakers and sectioned food trays are laid out, ready for service. A picture of Guru Nanak stares down benignly as people sit on benches at long tables or on mats on the floor to be served. My name is Grabaksh Kaudeho and uh, today we're making a langar for the congregation and we made um, vegetables today and the marrow vegetables. That should feed um, about 200 people, the food we made. A langar means God's food and we serve it to anybody regardless who comes in through them doors. And uh, it's all veg vegetable, vegetarian, uh, nothing else. And uh, we will serve God's food for everybody. Uh, Langar Main is the blessing of God's food. And um, because it's a free kitchen, free kitchen for everybody, regardless color, creed. And our actually practice is to set down the floor on all level, whether you're rich man, poor man, everybody serves the same food, no discrimination. That's what it means. A servant everywhere throughout the world. Wherever is a good water. Well, we made um, marrow vegetables today. And to prepare all that, you have to get the onions, prepare the onions, cut them, and um, ginger, garlic, and the chilies, and all the rest of the uh, spices. Then you get the marrow ready because you have to peel it, then you have to wash it, then you have to cut it and get it all ready. Then we've got the big pan, put some oil in and put the onions and all the spices and everything, mix them all up and fry them till they're um, ready cooked. Then we add the marrow vegetables in and um, it took us about um, half an hour, three quarters of an hour to cut the marrow and when it's all done then uh, we take it to have the prayers done. Langar is um, when it's been blessed by God, you know, we made the langar, nobody else had it before but we do the prayers as you must have seen, we took the tile upstairs and uh, we pray then we bring all that food back and put it into the pan and serve to the congregation. Well, anybody is welcome, does not matter. And uh, we have a strong sea community in Coventry, and we do play our role, even through the throne of Iris, a longer of a service, we cook it here, and we have a table goes out to feed the people who are in need. And that is, uh, we do it about twice a week. We have a gentleman here, he used to take food, take the dresses down, the people who are disabled, they can't come here, he used to deliver it. And we do that all the time, even without these crises, we serve food for the homeless and uh, people in need as well. We do that all the time. They are all volunteers in the kitchen and uh, they all come in their own times and they know when the food's going to be made. We get a lot of people coming in then to help and they're all volunteers. Everybody's a volunteer, yes. I just feel happy doing the seva, you know, what God has blessed me to do. I really enjoyed the three and a half years making a langar, helping people, 
whatever needs doing, and I'm so happy that God blessed us for this ever. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. 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 That's a greeting in the Sikhs. That's a greeting for Sikhs. When we meet somebody and say, we say, Wahi Guruji Ka Khalsa, Wahi Guruji Ki Fateh. That's a God's blessing, God's message. And we wish all the best, and we wish all your teams very best. And hope you come back again and uh, have food with us. Thank you very much.